Now we're moving into the purple season. Yeah. And you, you said earlier that this is one of your favorites. I love purple. <laughs> okay. And you also comment that you felt that the complexity, so we have seven different pieces that go on the altar. You like the fact that it gives you a lot of variety and there's always something new to see. So I brought out a few of the samples with your help. This is the focal point of the altar piece, and you can see the Celtic cross, but we've, we've done something different, and here's the shepherd fabric in the middle, but instead of a circle, we have added the crown of thorns. Um, throughout this set, so on the frontal and then on the wall hangings too, we have the squiggly shape, and that's for me a line of journey, particularly human footsteps, we're, we're journeying through our deserts. So that's kind of what that all is. There's a lot of fabric involved in this. There's a lot of simplicity in terms of the, these kind of fabrics, but with a little bit of regality. So there's conflict, contradiction. So this is the main one. Then the other layers, and if you'll hold that for me, thank you. We have two like this that have these strips of torn fabric, and yes, there's some that's raveling out. And keep the ravels, you don't need to trim them off. I've had people threaten to do that, it upsets me. And then lines of yarn. So again, conflict in our everyday lives. This is what it is to be human. So there's that one. And then we have layers of deep thought or shadows. And this is literally black silk organza. It has a kind of an eerie feeling, but it gives a somber quality. And again, mystery, what we really don't understand about Lent. And the final layer is an unexpected material, but one I've used for a long time, and that's window screening. And it again creates shadows and also reminds us of our everyday life. So the wall hangings that go with this use a lot of the number symbols and some other symbols. So we talked about our journey, and here's crossroads and conflict. And then we have these shapes, and there's how many? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many weeks are there in Lent? Seven weeks. So, and there's, so again, that completeness, so that whole journey, we have some more of the shepherd fabric to see. And then at the very top, there are the shapes of what look like to me, the hills right across the way from where your church is located, shepherd of the hills. And you pointed out this fabric looks like grass and, and the, your grassy area around your congregation looks like that. So this is very specific to where you are and there's even a pretty good crossroads right here close to the church. So Lent comes to us right here where you worship.